for summer camp, you will need to log in and create an account in our system um, to complete some medical forms. So to do this, you're going to first need a group link from your group leader. Um, so they will send that to you. Um, you won't be able to create an account until you have that link from them. So make sure um, that they've sent it to you. It's a link that connects you specifically to your group's event. So once you open that link, it's going to take you to a page like this um, where you'll be able to hit this drop down here and click the register button. Um, once you're here, you're going to enter in the email address that you want to use to create your account. And then here's going to be where you register for your account as a parent or a chaperone. So if you're a parent, you're going to make sure that you put in your information here, not your student's information. So once you get to this page here, you'll be able to add a new attendee, which is going to be where you enter in your child's information. Um, includes their name, birthday, grade, gender, all of that good stuff. So at this point, it's going to be when you're prompted to answer a couple of different questions here. So t-shirt size, uh, medical history, terms and conditions. Um, so you're going to want to fill all of these items out um, in order to uh, make sure that they have everything that they need done. So here you'll just find some different allergy history, health history um, that you can read through and make sure um, we have one file for the summer. And then um, there's going to be a emergency contact here. And then if there's any medication that they need um, administered while they're here, um, you can place this here and then let your group leader know because um, we will not distribute any medication at Crossroads, but um, we want to have this information on file um, in the event that there's an emergency of some sort. So um, then there's a couple more questions here where you can add in um, immu immunization history. If you feel that that's something that we should have on file, um, we typically only need um, like the HEP A and HEP B um, filled in here. So once these are completed, you're just going to agree to the terms. And then there's a couple more here that we have. So you'll just read through those and complete that. And you'll see uh, once once you're done, you're going to be able to see here that there are three check marks to indicate that you have completed all the forms needed uh, for your student. If you have two students coming or um, more than that, or you're coming as a chaperone and your student's coming as um, a camper, then you're going to return back to this group link um, that you originally had in order to do that. So you will just go back there and redo the process basically to add another student. So it'll take you to this page here where you'll be able to see you have one, um, one of your students are registered, but if you need to add a second, then you'll just enter that information here and you'll be prompted in the same way to fill out all the forms um, that we need for this event. Then you can log back in by going to our website, crossroadsummercamp.com, and then go under the registrations tab and hit the group and family login. At that point, you'll be either prompted to log in or your browser may remember you and already have you logged in. Um, but if you have to log in, you'll just enter in that same username, which is going to be your email address that you registered with, along with your password. Um, but once you log in, you're going to go under the registrations tab. And then you'll see if these are not completed, they're going to have a red mark here um, to indicate that these still need to be completed. 
Um, if you need to edit them or go back, then you can do so here as well um, by hitting the edit button. Our website is our registration FAQs. These have um, all the information that we discussed in these videos written out along with a couple of additional information. So um, if you, for any reason, um, are receiving a duplicate account error or an error of any kind, um, the best thing to do is to fill out our customer service form linked here to the website. Sometimes if you have a previous account, even from years back, you'll receive a duplicate account error. Um, and that is only something that our team can fix. So you won't want to continue to try again to create additional accounts or keep clicking. Um, the system will remember you from that previous time. Um, and so the only way to fix that is to use that customer service form. Um, so when you get here to the form, um, you'll fill out your parent information and then your student information. And this will tell us all that we need to know to assist you. So if you're having any issues at all with getting registered, uh, we ask that you use this as a landing spot um, for our team and we will get back to you as soon as we can.